aisle for Andy here. Right, this is just a quick update from Sainsbury's. Um, if you remember, we did this steak bake um, a few weeks ago, and um, basically the um, the meat content was absolutely ridiculous. So Sainsbury's have got in touch with me. Um, now they um, let me just open this up. They sent sent me an email. Um, and it actually read um thanks for thanks for getting in touch i'm sorry that the steak bake didn't meet the quality that we expect we want our customers to enjoy all the products they buy from us and work hard to give our customers the best quality products we go to great lengths during production and packaging to make sure this happens it's disappointing that we've fallen short on this occasion and I'm keen to put this right. Thanks for letting us know, and it's only, oh, and it's the only way we can improve feedback to our buyers and suppliers that something went wrong. They can keep a close eye on any further feedback they receive about the state bake. I've also, also, this is a funny bit. I've also posted you a one pound forty-five gift card. Um, well, which will arrive in three to five working days. This will be valued, uh, sorry, valid for the next two years to cover the cost of steak bake. Thanks for let, thanks for taking time to get in touch. We rely on our customers to let us know when things like this happen. And I hope you have a great day. Kind regards, Kenneth of Sainsbury's Careline, Sainsbury's Supermarkets, UK. Well, and here it is. Folks, let me show you. From Sainsbury's. Okay. And uh, it says, thanks for taking the time to get in touch. As discussed, I've enclosed a £1.45 gift card for you to use next time you shop with us. Please allow 72 hours after receiving this to ensure the balance has been activated. We appreciate you taking the time to share your feedback with us and hope to see you again soon. Again, kind regards, Kenneth from Sainsbury's Care Line. £1.45, all right, look. Sainsbury's has said, to be fair, um, Sainsbury's has said, um, and they've done what they said on the pack. But, you know, I'm not looking for anything, to be quite honest, at the end of the day. What I'm looking at is that companies like this are not ripping off ordinary working class folk, well, any folk, really, whether they're working class, rich, poor, or what. At the end of the day, they've got a standard to make, and that picture on that box, what they had, didn't live up to that what what we actually got if you understand what i mean you've probably seen the videos anyway you know um i look back i'm not gonna ramble on about this to be quite honest um one pound 45 you know i'll give it to jerry you know i'll give it to someone who wants well actually what i'll do i'll keep the card and i'll put one pound 45 i'll give it to a homeless person or put it into a charity box i want to keep the card because in three to four months time or whatever, I'm going to go back over Sainsbury's and I'm going to purchase another steak bake and we'll see if that was just a blip or, you know, um, that's a run-of-the-mill thing at the end of the day. You know, I look at this and I think to myself, years ago, at the end of the day, if you had something wrong, I can remember when I was younger, I bought a Mars bar from a shop or years ago this was, and the Mars bar had all gone white. That's obviously where the sugar had been raised with chocolate or something, I don't know, and that. And um, I actually sent that back as a kid, um, with the help of my mum and everything, um, to Mars. I think that was Macintoshes in the day. And you know, I received 48 Mars bars in a parcel. You know, this is when companies used to care about you. No, they don't care. They don't give a toss as far as I'm concerned. You know, £1.45. Technically, I look at it and think as an insult. You know, if they'd have sent me, I don't know, 10, 20 quid as an apology, I would have still give that away to charity or to a homeless or a family in need at the end of the day. Um, 
because you know, to me, one oh, go get yourself another steak bake or you know, one forty five multi million pound company, you know, bloody hundreds of millions they earn. You know, and all the companies are the same. They used to do it. I mean, I know people years ago, you know, get a packet of crisps and that they taste a damp or something. They've sent them back to or Walker Smith's or wherever. And that oh, big old box of crisps used to come through the door, you know. This is when companies cared. I don't think companies care, no. They don't give a damn. They have to reply to you because, you know, you put up that complaint, you know. But anyway, look, enough of that. All right, Sainsbury's, you've said what you're going to do. You know, I weren't expecting anything to say. I just wanted to bring it to their attention. And that's where other people don't, you know, um, fall short. And, um, yeah, and that's it, really, at the end of the day. So, yeah, I'll, I'll give them, I'll say, 145. I'll give them to the oldest person who bought a burger or something, I don't know, or, or a family at Nina. But I'm going to keep this, and I'm going to purchase that steak bake, that next one, on this card, photograph it and everything, and we'll just see. And then if that don't live up to expectation, I'm going back to Sainsbury's, and I'm going to say, I used your £1.45 um, card to get a steak bake, another steak bake, because the other one apparently was wrong. And if this do, and I'll say, so we're here again, you know, I'm hoping that don't happen. I'm hoping it is a blip, and they're telling the truth, but we'll see anyway. And yeah, I say 145, I do believe in my video, I said 175, I made a mistake, I apologise for that. That was £1.45 for the steak bakes. Anyway, that's a quick update. Well, thanks for listening anyway, and... Um, uh, any comments um please put them below have you good people had any problems with supermarkets sainsbury's tesco's oldies answers whoever be nice to hear from you yep just thought i'd let you know on the steak bake issue thanks very much for watching um love you all catch you guys in the next one cheers